All right, guys, I'm going to let you know right off the bat, I usually don't review non-horror movies. It has to be a really good movie in order for me to review it. Now, I really wrestled with myself on whether or not I should review this franchise. I took a stab at it in 2013, and I didn't like the way it went, so I'm going to start over. And we're going to start with the original, The Terminator, 1984. It was written and directed by James Cameron. And it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as The Terminator slash T-800. Michael Bean as Kyle Reese. Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. Those are the main three people that you need to know about. And it says in the movie that Skynet decided that Sarah Connor shouldn't live because Skynet was just a regular computer, but it got smarter as the time went on. And by the way, this is taking place in the year 2029 but the Terminator was sent back to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor and it said that Skynet decided that she shouldn't live and I don't mean to be negative but these movies that America makes are so retarded how can Skynet decide anything Skynet is a machine Skynet can't decide anything. In order to decide something, you have to have emotions. Every decision you make is based on an emotion. It can't want anything. It's a machine. So, let's look up the word decide. Decide to choose. It can't choose anything. It is a robot, a cyborg. How can it choose something? You have to have feelings to choose something. That's not the right word. Some of you are going to say, well, what about when you play video games and you play against the computer? Still, it's not choosing anything. You have to decide no pun intended but you have to pick a different word because in order to decide something you must have emotions that's like saying I decided I want bacon and eggs this morning the Terminator can't decide that because it can't feel anything so how would it know what it wants all it knows is what you program it to know it doesn't know anything outside of that. So that is incorrect. I'm sorry, but it makes no sense. All it knows is what you teach it. It is a machine. It is not a human being. Getting on with the plot. As I said, Sarah Connor is the mother of John Connor. And John Connor is what they call a resistance fighter and they are a group of soldiers dedicated to saving mankind from these machines called the terminators and the terminators are dedicated to killing mankind michael bean plays kyle reese he's sent back to protect the mother of john connor Here's what I don't get. If Michael Bean is from the future, why would he ask her, is this enough money? You're from the future. Shouldn't you know that? You should know that already. It doesn't make any sense. This movie, The Terminator, the first one, is more like a horror movie than an action movie because it keeps going after the people sort of like Jason, Michael Myers, or Freddy Krueger so this is more like a horror movie the other four Terminator films are action films I don't even know why this is considered an action movie 
Because the Terminator kills more than anything in this movie. I think they said he killed 17 cops in the police station massacre. I decided to buy this one on Amazon because I'm very interested. My dad's very interested in it. That's basically why I bought it. We don't like the fourth one, though, because Arnold's not in that one. So, you know, that's kind of irrelevant. But I do plan on reviewing it. But to make a long story short, the Terminator kills a bunch of people who have the name Sarah Connor. And why wouldn't he? They have the same name. You see, Skynet destroyed all the records. I guess that was accidentally in the war. The records got destroyed. So what I'm saying is this, it didn't have a picture of Sarah Connor, so basically it told the Terminator, hey, go to Los Angeles and kill every woman named Sarah Connor, eventually he'll get the right one. I don't understand that about this computer, but you know, whatever, I don't know. But that's basically what it said. Go to Los Angeles and kill Sarah Connor. You'll get her eventually. Just kill everyone you see until you happen to kill her. So that's what it did. Or at least what it tried to do. But Kyle Reese took a bomb, one of these homemade explosive things, and stuck it in the Terminator's body. And he didn't have enough time to jump out of the way. And it blew the Terminator up and it killed him. But apparently that wasn't enough. Because even though the Terminator had been ripped in half, it could still crawl. This is what I don't get. If you have no legs, why would you try to kill Sarah Connor I'm sitting there thinking and excuse my language I'm like dude give it up you don't even have fucking legs anymore give it up why are you still trying to kill her you don't even have legs anymore after it lost its legs I would consider the Terminator to be pretty useless but that's my opinion cuz if you don't have legs and you don't have your human form, the human skin, if you don't have that, then what's the point? I would just give up, but, you know, it's not programmed to give up. But anyway, she crushed it with some kind of machine. And she said, you're terminated, fucker. So from now on, each movie says, you're terminated. So I guess she started that phrase or whatever. Just like in every movie, he says, I'll be back. That's every single movie now. So I guess that phrase is just something that all of the T-800s say, I'll be back. I don't know what to say about that. You can call this a review. You can call it a rant. But I'll be back. For Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The one scene that I definitely liked in this movie is the one where they're making love. Sarah Connor is making love to Kyle Reese. And they're creating John Connor. And while they're having sex, the Terminator theme is playing in a piano melody. I really like that part. Not necessarily the sex, but I like the idea that they were creating John Connor. So, in a way, the Terminator failed. You know, because they made John Connor. It failed. John is born. Which is why this new Terminator is coming to kill John. And that's in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And I'll be back for that. And I want to point out before I go, I find it very interesting how the little Hispanic kid is like, hey, there's a storm coming. And then the storm comes. So that's letting you know that something epic is about to happen. I enjoyed that. Ladies and gentlemen, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, 
and Michael Bean in Terminator 1984. It was released on October 26th, 1984, to be exact. Was the movie good? I enjoyed it, but like I said, it was more like a horror movie than anything, because he was more like Jason or Michael Myers. The next movie is an action movie. But I enjoyed this movie. Now on to the next movie, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And lucky for me, I got the special edition with extra footage in it, so I'm in for a treat. I'm going to get to watching that right now. The Terminator, 1984, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, and Michael Bean. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic, and I approve this message.